Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's September 23rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here this week. Uh, as we said last week, this was a very quiet week in the muni market. All eyes are on the Federal Reserve. What did they do? Yeah, uh, like you said, nothing really going on in munis. Uh, we had a pretty pretty light uh, week. Um, things activity picked up uh, today, um, you know, kind of after most of the news was digested. But all week long, everybody was looking forward to uh, the FOMC rate decision on Wednesday afternoon, uh, where the FOMC raised the target uh, rate 75 basis points, kind of in line with expectations um, from a, a range of three to 3.25 percent. So uh, there had been some speculation maybe they would go 100, but uh, I think uh, I think the 75 basis points was kind of in line uh, with uh, with most expectations and. You know, we saw a um, you know pretty um, pretty significant um, move in rates uh, after the announcement. Um, the two-year Treasury, which had been you know earlier in the month around mid-September, had been trading around you know a three-four to a three and a half percent, um, and had risen to as much as uh, three ninety-five uh, ahead of the announcement. Jumped before, behind four percent uh, after the announcement, and has continued to sell off. Um, that's hit a high of uh, of about a 423, um, and is trading back down around like a 418 percent or so now. Um, you know, so we're seeing uh, a continuation and and more uh, pronounced inversion um, and and flattening of the longer end of the yield curve. Uh, Ten year Treasury, which was around you know call it uh, 355, 360. Uh, before the announcement, actually rallied after the announcement to around three and a half percent. Um, and then it sold off uh, to uh, almost a 380 um, and is now back down around a 367. So, you know, maybe 10 basis points or so higher on the 10 year um, and similar reaction, uh, even more muted on the long end. Uh, 30 year Treasury went from around a 360 prior uh, to a, um, a rallying as low as a three, three and a half percent. Um, then sold off to about a 370 and is back right around a 360. So almost unchanged on the long end. So you see that continuation of a flatter and you know more inverted yield curve. Um, muni's um, very similar. Um, we we continued to flatten uh, by uh, by almost as much as uh, 25 basis points um, from twos to thirties. Um, if you account for what we're expecting today, uh, uh, the changes that we're expecting in the MMD curve today, but uh, the front end of uh, Muni's has sold off uh, around 30 to 35 basis points, 30 basis points through today, and, and we'll see a continuation of, uh, of five to eight basis points or so uh, by the close. And the long end is really only off by about 12 basis points or so. So, um, you know, the, the continued uh, flattening of, uh, of the tax exempt curve. And that was like we talked about at the beginning uh, in the face of really little to no activity there was less than two billion uh, of, nego of uh, total uh, new issue supply. Uh, most uh, uh, issuers and, and bankers were avoiding the volatility uh, that this week uh, could have brought. Um, but uh, but we'll get back to uh, back to normal next week. Uh, we're already seeing about eight billion or so um, on the uh, on the calendar for next week. Um, so hopefully we'll uh, you know we'll we'll, we'll kind of see a, a back to normal um, stances uh, with elevated rates. And muni yield ratios were pretty flat on the week, uh, market really moving very much in line with the treasury market. On the uh, demand side, uh, we saw another $2 billion of outflows reported by Lipper from uh, municipal mutual funds. But again, in the face of such light supply in the new issue market, that didn't have a, a real significant impact in kind of relative value between uh, munis and treasuries. Uh, for this week, uh, as we said, it was a very light week, but uh, BAM nonetheless insured uh, $175 million of uh, new issues. Any of those stand out to you? Yeah, uh, with uh, pretty decent activity, um, we saw about uh, um, 83 million uh, in a negotiated deal priced by Bernardi Securities uh, for Manhattan School District in Illinois uh, that carried an A uh, underlying rating. Uh, and then in the competitive market, uh, Raymond James purchased a $26 million competitive sale for Porter Municipal Utility District in Texas. Uh, which carried an underlying rating of A2. So, um, you know, even even with lighter uh, total supply uh, and total volume, uh, BAM had a, a pretty active week across the board.
and those transactions echoing some of the trends we've seen since the onset of the pandemic and periods of volatility, periods of uncertainty, uh, insurance has proven uh, its value in, in helping transactions get placed so that uh, it's not unexpected that you see an uptick in penetration those weeks. Well, thanks for your time this week, Brian. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Great. Thanks, Mike.